In today's video, I want to test different ways to get rid of bubbles in concrete. So the first method I'm going to use is a vacuum chamber. This is just a simple, fairly inexpensive one I bought off of Amazon. Um, here you, you see me mixing the concrete to get started for the first test. And then I wanted to show how I pour in each of the examples as well. Not great camera work, but I want to make sure you see how I do it. So when the outcome happens, you know all the little bits and pieces to see where I can improve my process and hopefully we can all learn together. And then here's where I'm putting it into the vacuum chamber. Um, I did have to 3D print a ring for this pot that I'm using to get it high enough for the, uh, the mold I'm using. And here's a close up inside the vacuum chamber and you can see it's poofing up as that air is trying to force its way out of the concrete and I don't believe it's gonna work too well for this. I'm taking out of the vacuum chamber here, you're going to see again, it's kind of thick and got to pat it down or tamp it down to level it out again. So again, I'm not sure this is going to work out so well. And here's method two, which is definitely more traditional using a jeweler's vibrator. I'm not going to make you watch how long it takes me to mix the, the concrete, but get it in there, set my mold on top of the vibrator and pour it in. Um, again, I want to show the whole process so you can see where I've messed things up or done well. So definitely give me your feedback in the comments. And here's a close-up of the vibration process. And you see some bubbles releasing, coming to the surface, etc. So I mean, it's doing its job. Um, I realize it's hard for bubbles to come up through concrete, but we'll see. And here's the close-ups of the two versions. The one on the left is the vacuum chamber. And you see all kinds of bubbles, especially around the the image where the bubbles will get trapped and the, the one on the right here is the traditional vibrated model again not great um, I have a lot of work to do to figure out how to get rid of these bubbles uh, a lot more YouTube in to watch and see how I can learn from others so if anybody has any ideas or comments please leave them below help me figure out how to make these products better thank you oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'd really appreciate it thanks for watching